just your boy Will back on another video today. This video will be about Sundell Grower stock, ticker symbol SNDL. And this will be an update on the stock since the market is open tomorrow. I want to give you guys a refresher of these key levels and also how I'll be playing it. I am I will be playing it two type of ways, okay? One, I'll be getting a long position tomorrow. So I'll be holding it uh, for a long time, a minimum a year because I see a good growth in all the wheat stocks. I just like this stock better. So I will be holding the stock over a year and I'll also be playing it short term, okay? So I'll explain that and I'll also explain these levels again so you guys can be ready for tomorrow. So remember, like the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any updates and let's get into it. So when you zoom out, you see the stock had a pretty crazy run. We don't like buying at high prices. We wait for that pullback and we got it, okay? So now, since we had that pullback, we look for our entry. Now, this is the level I wanted price to go below, and it has. It snuck down there a little bit, came down, and now it is confirmly below this level. Now, this was a support that I had at 176. The low came in at 178, almost hit it, and then traded sideways, right? I am looking at this level tomorrow for it to hit. It is a little down after hours because it closed around $2.08, and it's currently at $2.45 after hours. So I'm looking for this level to hit, okay? So I'll be watching it live. So make sure you guys join our Discord chat because once I buy in the stock, I will send it out there, okay? The link is down below. So once it hits the stock, I will wait, okay? I won't get in just yet. I'll wait and I'll see how price reacts at this level, okay? If I start seeing some buying, like a reaction like this, then I will get in, okay? Now, if I start seeing also a slow reaction like that, I will also get in. But if I see movement like kind of coming down, like you see a little spike up, right? And then it starts coming down slowly, then I will wait to get in. I won't get in just yet, okay? That will be for the short-term trading, okay? This line right here is mainly for the short-term trading. Now with my long-term trading, below $2, if the stock goes below $2, I will slowly start to add shares for my long position. Now this position, I will be holding over a year, okay? I have very um, bullishness on wheat stocks since all since the Democrats are basically in charge and Biden, they have all that wheat stock. And I think wheat, wheat stocks, like they'll get more and more and more um, uh, legalized here in the U.S. So that is a long term play for me. So watch this level at $1.76. If we see some buying off that area, then I think we can get a decent short term play because just this move. And it didn't even hit the level, it was over a 20% gain, right? And it didn't even hit the level. So imagine if it hits the level, I think we'll be ready to send it off, okay? Now, if it does fall below this level, I like I said, I don't see any support until around the $1.36 area. Now, if it came down there, then I think we will see um, a lot of buying. And I will also get some shares for the long term. But, but shorter term, watch this area first. And then once this area is actually broken to the downside, then we can start looking at that dollar 36 area okay but for right now focus on this level this level will tell us if we are short-term bullish or not but longer term i am bullish so two dollars below i'll start getting long-term shares at this level if i see buying reaction then i will get in on the shorter term okay so that's how i'm playing uh sndl sunder grower stock hope you guys like this video uh, none of this recommendation to buy or sell anything is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in these videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.